feel like we could have improved like school dinners, you know. They were rubbish. So first of all, Cersei is like the wizard and Icarus is the loyal soldier. How would you describe your co-star? Ooh. Do you want to go first? No, yeah, I'll go first. <laughs> um, how would I describe you? I don't know. I mean, you share a lot of characteristics that Cersei has. You're, you are an empath and you're very compassionate. So you carry a lot of her in you. Yeah, and Richard, Richard's very loyal. Um, strong sense of responsibility. Great sense uh, of humour. Little bit cocky sometimes. Handsome. <laughs> handsome. <laughs> oh, I'll just let you take over, shall I? <laughs> yeah, there's so, I would say there's definitely elements of our characters within us. I feel that's why we were cast. Yeah. yeah, love that. So the Eternals like really watch over humanity, but they must not interfere at all. So that sort of got me thinking, what events in your own life do you think you might have intervened with? Things that we would have intervened in our own lives, things that we would have changed in our own lives. So I don't know, I try to not have any regrets because I kind of have learned something from everything that happened. So as much as there's things I'd want to change or, or, or whatever, I, I kind of try and embrace them all as like, okay, that, that took me to being right here talking to you right now. So that's, um, it's all worth it. I feel like we could have improved like school dinners, you know, they were rubbish. Yeah. The whole time. <laughs> Let's go back to school dinners. <laughs> yeah. We came here 7,000 years ago to protect humans from the deviants. Why didn't you guys help fight Thanos or any war or all the other terrible things throughout history? We were instructed not to interfere in any human conflicts unless deviants are involved. By who? The film actually deals with some like really quite heavy topics, so like life and morality. Um, why do you two think that the superhero genre is like a good format to like explore these issues? I think, you know, there's something about the genre that, that appeals to people and, um, you know, whether times are good or bad, there's something about these characters that, you know, they may have these superhuman powers but they also are they have human frailties they have faults they have weaknesses they have doubt um yeah i think it's something uh, it's, we sort of project don't we yeah um, that's what's interesting that this is taking these five seven thousand year old beings and putting them into humanity and they're a really good kind of mirror to humanity because mm -hmm. we see these 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 beings learn and become more human as the years go past. So I think that's why the genre in a way is really good for, for highlighting the best and worst bits of humanity. Yeah. I think the characters in this film as well, they're all, they're a bit of a motley crew, an odd bunch. They'd all perhaps be kind of outsiders, you know, if yeah. they were in society mm -hmm. anyway, and but together they're sort of greater. They work. Yeah, yeah they work. 100% it definitely comes through like very strongly in the film so thank you so much for your time today I've really enjoyed speaking to you both thank you thank you